Hi Scorpio, welcome to Toy Tarot. This is going to be your November 1st through the 15th read for 2021. I'm going to start off with an intuitive read, but before I do, know that this will only be for Sun, Sign, Scorpio, but also for Scorpio placements as well. You can know a Scorpio or have Scorpio traits, okay? And with that being said, this won't apply for all Scorpios, but who it is meant to be for. So you take what resonates and you just leave the rest. Um, if this message ends up helping you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much and let's go ahead and begin. So Scorpio, it seems like you've been working on something, okay? You received the Six of Wands upside down, okay? Along with the Tower and the Temperance card. So again, you've been working on something. It's been in the works for a while. You've been nurturing it and you're just waiting for your seeds to grow, okay? Or in other words, you're waiting to see how it turns out. Scorpio, you received the daughter card. Okay, so I get that this is possibly a feminine energy, okay? Or this thing that you've been working on, okay, for a while, has to do with a daughter of yours, okay? This also says to... Get to know your daughter some more if you have a daughter, okay? Let's draw another card. So, Scorpio, you received number 40. Well, really, you received number 53, okay? 53 upside down, which is the magician card, okay? So, it's as if something is in the works, again, that you have been working on, okay? During this cycle. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you received number 49, Scorpio, which talks about angel of love, so maybe you've been working on building a relationship with your daughter, okay, Scorpio? Um, waiting on some form of um, communication or been communicating with a daughter that you've been trying to work on maybe your relationship with. So for self-care, Scorpio, you received number 30, which is look for the fairies, okay? This is my angel card, okay? I feel like your angels, your guardian angels are helping you with this situation, okay? Possibly because you prayed about something that God heard and sent help, you know, to you, okay? This could even um, be like, you know, when the, when the Spirit of God, like, enters into, you know, um, the physical form, okay? And answers, answers questions to... You know, things that we prayed about, okay, through other people, okay? So, this is what this is for me, okay? And again, um, to me, I'm like, okay, maybe you're waiting on some kind of communication or you have been, like, you know, communicating with um, a daughter of yours, you know, that you're trying to, um, you know, reconnect with or, you know, build something with. Something that's been in the works for you, okay? That's going to be in the works for you. Um, for the month of November, okay? For the first half. Now, you receive the big, the Be Still card, okay? So, again, this is like waiting on something to happen, okay? So, with the number four card, you receive Postponement, okay? So, this lets me know, Scorpio, that you have been waiting on something. And it possibly isn't happening as fast as you want it to happen, for your planet card, Scorpio, you received the Waxing Crescent Moon, okay? This speaks to taking the initiative, okay? Again, when we mentioned about seeds are strengthening in the soil. So, again, you've been working on something, waiting to see the results of it, okay? And it's like, for me, it's like this nurturing thing. See, it talks about it is if it's kept neutral, okay? So, it's like you've been nurturing this relationship, this father-daughter relationship, okay? Um, you took the initiative, okay? So, you received the Lunar Eclipse card, Scorpio, okay? This talks about things coming to light. So, something that you've been waiting for is going to come to light for you, family, in the month of November. 
All right, Scorpio. So you received the Jack of Wands and you received the King of Hearts, okay? So this lets me know that... Okay, so this lets me know again that something is going to come to light. You see that sun right there? Um, you're going to see something or hear something, okay? And it has to do with um, a possible um, connection between two, okay? Again, I get like um, father-daughter situation, okay? Now, um, the Jack of Wands talks about good news, okay? So then you receive the Five of the five of clubs okay now the five of clubs basically also talks about good tidings as well okay so i'm getting a good vibe from this so you receive the eight of swords as well okay so this basically talks about the presence of a mighty enemy but since it's upside down it's like it's like possibly you're going to think that something is actually not going to happen but it is okay You receive the Two of Swords, okay? The Two of Swords talks about success. So it's going to be a successful situation. And with the Four of Swords, this is like a suspi like um, suspicious card, suspicion, okay? So something that you've had your eye on, okay, or you have taken great interest in, um, this wish that you've been praying about, Scorpio, okay? This is for some Scorpios, not all, okay? Um, it's going to be something good coming out of this weight, okay? So with the teacup card, Scorpio, you receive the candle card, which talks about you will be shown the way, okay? So know that again with the angel card, you had the angel of love card and you also had the self-care, the angels cards for me, okay? Now, it's different for every reader, but that's for me, okay? Now, you're being guided and helped through this process, okay? You receive the bird is flying card, which talks about news on the way, on the way whether it's a letter, an email, a package, but it's going to be coming soon and it's going to be coming fast for you. You receive the fire card, Scorpio, which talks about strong emotions. So you're, you have a strong emotion, no attachment to the situation, very passionate, you know, whether it's love or hate for, you know, um, this thing that you've been working on, okay? And again, for some, I feel like it's a father-daughter um, situation, okay? Now, you receive the mule card, okay? The mule, sorry. This talks about someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, okay? So, you can take that, how that resonates, okay? Um, you receive the casket card, which talks about someone going out of your life or into a situation okay so maybe somebody maybe somebody in the past was stubborn okay and it's going to be an end to that situation okay and then you receive the rainbow card which talks about the most difficult part of a situation that you dealt with scorpio is over all right so that is your read scorpio for for the month of november 1st through the 15th 2021 okay take it how it applies and this won't be for all scorpios just for who it's meant for thanks for tuning in to toy tarot bye